Hey, what is going on guys? Diamond here. And today I've got quite a huge plugin. For and this plugin is so great. It is perfect for skyblock factions or pretty much anything related that you need warps in because hyperdrive is just insane. The way it works and every feature it has sound effects, particle effects, even the, you can add commands to teleportation. You can add groups to teleportation. You can warp a whole group if you want. There is so many features on this plugin. You are going to be mind blown so i'm gonna go for you guys with every single thing and the developer was so kind enough he's giving one free copy away so if you guys want a chance to win this plugin all you have to do is go on my discord click the emoji on the giveaways tab and that is it so if you somehow manage to win this plugin all you got to do is hyperdrive is pretty simple to mess with but if you don't know the correct ways it's gonna be quite complex so i'm gonna teach you guys through every single way so first of all all you gotta do is slash warps and it will appear with this gui and that nice sound effects i actually like it it's subtle yet perfect and then you have quite a few here you have such as public warps my warps shop warp shop and you have private warps and server warps so you can customize this with the secondary plugin that you can buy as well which you can configure pretty much every single thing about the gui i'll also leave it in the description down below if you guys want to check it out as well to be an add-on for it but yeah adding these two plugins together they're super configurable when it comes to so starting off here we have public warps so in public warps of course you have public public warps open to whoever's on the server you can change description everything like that of course everything is really configurable so if you go ahead and shift then click on it as you can see you have quite a lot of features such as you can change the name you can change the material uh, I can't really read that one and then you can also change a description line you can even change the icon amount change the description color change the warp status you can even add an owner so so you can add owners to this as the owner to the warp allowing them to control as well of course if you're op you're not gonna have to pay but if you have it looks such a like a private warp that's only for you you can go ahead and pay 150 with economy and you can remove an owner you can give ownership if you want you have to pay for it as well and of course everything is highly configurable so you can go into config change everything because this is a magnificent plugin and I love it when you can change pretty much every single detail of the plugin yet it still gives high quality plugin feel that you come to expect and get from a plugin like this one. So you can also go ahead and change usage price. You can delete the warp and then you can add a player to the whitelist. You can remove a player to the whitelist and then you can also toggle. Of course, they are payable as well. Everything is really nice and configurable. So you can go ahead back and here you have view more so of course retrieves more warps that are currently not shown so of course if there is more warps in this you can go ahead and get it as well but then you can either go ahead and refresh the page or go back to the menu of course you can change all of this stuff in the config as well in the warp messages so like i said highly configurable then you have my warps so these are currently all my warps and pretty much the warps i created and then we can also have the warp shop so you can go ahead and sell warps <laughs> that's pretty cool a warp market i love that and then you can also go ahead and do the private warp so this is all the private warp so if i go ahead the teleportation will start and that is sick five seconds do not move and there you go you can teleport that is mental i love it so if i go ahead server warps and go into spawn all i have to do is wait again this is so cool and of course if you do move it gets cancelled so that is the note right there so i'm gonna go ahead and i believe there is a cooldown so you can't go spamming it so at least three seconds you have to wait but of course that is configurable so i'm gonna go ahead oh i worked to the wrong one but that is no problem so i can go ahead and go here and test so i'm gonna go ahead you may not teleport for another nine seconds that's rubbish but there's also permission so you can do bypasses as well if you want and add it to your permissions as well but since we have to wait nine seconds what we can do is create a warp so slash warp warps create and then you go ahead and name it so i'm gonna go ahead and create this one as ted and you can go ahead and change certain aspects of it so you can make it public so i'm gonna go ahead and put that for example so you can make it public private and server of course private means you can only use it and you can also add people to the private list such as that so i'm gonna go ahead and make this one a public and as you can see i added it right there i'm gonna go ahead to warps again and i'm gonna go ahead to server warps so i'm gonna go ahead to public warps and as you can see right here ted is right here and of course since alpha alphabetical order so just as you can see right there so i'm gonna go ahead to test like i said five seconds you get the particle effect insane so it will teleport me like so and i just pretty much i pretty much came here to test pretty simple like that now i do want to change a few couple things so 
I'm gonna go ahead and do warps and I'm gonna go to public and for example test I can go ahead shift and click it and then I can change aspects of it so I'm gonna go ahead and change the name please enter the name you would like the warp to be called so I'm gonna go ahead and name this one outside so there we go so if I go ahead back to the warps and as you see it's named outside now so if I click it again I can go ahead and change the material please enter the new material you would like the warp to be so of course it has to be material so i'm gonna go ahead and click the link and choose a material of my liking so for that all i have to do is sapling like so so if i click it again as you can see it's a sapling pretty amazing i like it and yeah so you have to use spigot ids that are pretty common by now so hopefully you guys understand it and i'm gonna go ahead and change the head as well so i can go ahead and change the material so by just clicking it i'm gonna go ahead and change it to a simple diamond should work and then if i click it as you can see right here it works wonders i love that thing so if i can go ahead and click it it will teleport me and boom that's simple so i can go ahead and warps again and i'm gonna go ahead and click on public warp and i'm gonna go to ted and such other things i might want to change so pretty much this feature right here that i cannot read is pretty much if you want it to be enchanted or not you can do this via command but i love the fact that you can just do it for a gui which is really nice and then you can also change the amount change the stacks of your icon so if i want to i can go ahead and make it a full 10 and then if i go ahead and click on it it's gonna see it's a full 10 diamonds so you can also change the color so i'm gonna go ahead and change it to a nice blue so i'm gonna go for three and if i go ahead and click the warp again so pretty much the description got changed oh i'm gonna i warp by accident i'm gonna go ahead and move because i do not need to get teleported and i'm gonna go ahead and go to public warps and click shift again and pretty much i just created i changed the description but i meant to change the title so of course you can change that as well so change the name and i'm gonna go ahead and put a blue as well so if i click on it there you go both description and the title are in blue love it so you can also change the price and even the server status so if i want to make this one private i can so as you can see here it will no longer be here so if i go ahead and do warps get permission outside so pretty much it will say the warp outside must be a server warp like what's really the point of giving a permission that is kind of well stupid to be honest so um, i'm gonna go ahead and i will create a warp for example i'll create one right here and then i'll just do warps create i'll name this one ted2 and then i'll create it as a server now if i go and try to get ted2 permission it will pretty much say hyperdrive.server warp dot ted2 is pretty much the permission you would have to give to the player so say you want donators to get this certain warp you can go ahead and do that it's really nice you can also set the permission so what you got to do is just change get to set and just change the permission so i can do warp dot ted and then pretty much the permission has been set nice and done i love that and you can also delete as well if you want to go ahead and do delete and for example you add a player's name you can go ahead and delete all the warps i'm not going to do that to myself because I kind of need them for showcase right now so yeah also other things you can do for example you can go ahead and you pretty much can do warps group and then invite and then for example player name so of course it'll say right here warps group invite accept deny kick all list and leave so pretty much you can pretty much invite players and then warp all them so if you do warps tp all uh pretty much it will work but i don't have any friends and it will not work with me because everyone wants to leave me today so yeah um it will work of course i am positive on that and i have to sit out with other friends but they couldn't be on this video so yeah that's something to put right there now i didn't show this feature too much but i do want to show it so if you do warps again and then go ahead into any of any category as long as there's a warp so if i go to private one i can go ahead and click on it and then i can make it enchanted which is really nice so you can't see it too much but believe me it is enchanted it's mainly because of my texture pack so i'm gonna try it with uh, spawn real quick and i'll make it enchanted so set permission to true then i'm gonna go back and as you can see it is enchanted diamond is enchanted as well it's just that you can't see it as much it's really difficult to see but yeah uh, i like that feature so if only the donators are allowed to go to a certain area i would make this enchanted or only staff or anything related to that which is really cool and pretty much yeah that's a lot of the features which you can do in game i love this plugin so far and i really i really want to see what you guys can do with it remember there's a there's a giveaway happening so this is a perfect opportunity to try and grab it for yourself 
course, there's one thing I do want to mention is that the particles you see me teleporting with, it is configurable. So I just want to note that I just want to tell you pretty much that now that this is not the only one you can add. You can change it if you want, which is really nice. You can, pretty much, like I said, it's configurable. So change one like per warp, anything related to that, which is really cool. I love this plugin so much and I really want to see what you guys can do. If you do how I met however have the plugin or end up messing with the plugin or getting the plugin for yourself go to my discord and share because i would love to see how configurable this plugin really is so yeah guys that was a plugin right there hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have make sure to smack the like button down below i plan to bring out a lot more videos this week so hope you guys really come back to see more and yeah make sure to check out pebble host and the plugin itself in the description down below and overall that's it hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next time cheers